Hello friends, my name is Kelly James and I'm with JP Associates and Realtors and I just came from showing a listing that I have, 100 acres with a creek running through the middle of it and it's lined with 100 year old pecan trees, it's absolutely gorgeous and the buyers were a couple out of Houston and they had a lot of questions concerning buying acreage and I just wanted to address some of these questions because you might find yourself in the same position because if you have these questions answered ahead of time it puts you in a lot better position when you're buying raw acreage and I guess the question that comes up the most is how much do I need to put down on raw acreage and generally that's about 20% down on raw acreage and there are other costs that you're going to incur as you're developing this and one of them or three of the main ones are putting in a well, a septic and electric and another thing that you're going to incur is your percent down on the construction loan when it comes to the time that you actually build. It may not be at the time that you purchase the property. But anyway, just if you have these questions addressed before you start the process, and a realtor can really come in helpful in this way and that we can share lenders that we're working with that are familiar with giving loans on raw acreage, lenders that are familiar with giving construction loans. Right now I work on a day-to-day -day basis with lenders that have construction loan packages for 5% down. Um, your construction loan you also need to talk to the lender about what type of house you're building if it's a traditional stick build or nowadays we see a lot of barn dominiums and not all lenders work with uh, barn dominiums so use your realtor uh, find your lenders ahead of time find your well company your septic and electric company ahead of time during the option period which is the very beginning of when your offer becomes a contract and you're doing your due diligence and research on this property because I always advise buyers when buying new prop or raw acreage that during the option period we need to go out and we need to talk to the neighbors or talk to a well driller that has drilled wells in that area to ask them how many gallons per minute their wells produce because more often than not on raw acreage there's not an existing well that you can test and if it can't pump enough gallons per minute for to support the size of household that you plan on building you might have to put a rainwater catch system in or a cistern and that's added expenses on your part if you don't like that fact and you do this research during the option period you can buy back out of buying that property another thing you need to investigate during the option period is your septic if you have this ranch picked out this beautiful uh, place in the middle of the ranch or wherever on the ranch that you want to build your home site you might want to talk to the septic guys and ask them this is the size of house I want to build uh, do, what do you think is best for this house an anaerobic aer aerobic system and is this spot suitable to be digging and putting in a septic if you're buying raw acreage and you need to run electrical poles to the build site one thing you might need to think about are added expenses if you have to drop electrical poles to run it to the middle of this acreage that's gonna increase your uh, expenses up front before you actually move into your home and one thing you might research during the option period is I always ask the buyers to talk to the neighbors maybe it's something we can tie into their electrical pole halfway and you won't have to incur that many expenses but there's a lot of expenses that you incur doing um, buying raw acreage and building a home on top of that that needs to be covered in the beginning of purchasing your property or preferably before you start ac acquiring your property um, you need to have a builder in mind and talk to a custom builder we work with custom builders on a daily basis and we know what areas certain builders build in some of them have a radius that they'll only drive out to do new construction and you need to make sure that that's within your um, your your custom builder is within the radius that you want to build a home but anyway, my name is Kelly James. I'm with JP Associate Realtors and I'm happy to answer 
any questions you may have about buying raw property, I'm happy to give you referrals and help you with the acquisition of land from the very beginning all the way through the lifetime that you live in that dream home that you've built. Count me as a resource. I look forward to hearing from you. Again, my name is Kelly James. My number is 512-630-7069.